What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create custom post types into your WordPress website for free, okay? So, besides of the amazing solutions that our plugins offers, we have a free plugin that can create custom post types for you, fully customizable and for free, okay? So, let's learn how to do this today. But before we can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? Because we bring daily videos about WordPress, plugins, tutorials, SEO, and everything you need in order to use internet on your favor and optimize your site, okay? So let's get it started. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard, okay? I always like to start my videos on the WordPress dashboard because it bring, makes equal for everyone, okay? And after this, we're gonna move to the left sidebar of the earrings okay of the menus and we're gonna find the plugins hover your mouse over it and click on add new right here into the upper right corner into the field search plugins we're gonna type borderless okay that is our free plugin that can create post types for you here's the plugin click on install now Click on activate. After this, you're gonna be redirected to the WordPress dashboard, okay? To the WordPress plugins list. But as you can review, into the top of your WordPress dashboard, into the left menu of eatings, you can see a new button called Borderless, okay? And here is the one that we're gonna be working on. But before we can start, Let's take a moment to understand more about custom post types. What is custom post types? When you install WordPress, you can see that it came with pages. Okay, this is a custom post type. Okay, this is a default post type for WordPress. We have page posts. That is another post type. However, according to the theme that you install, according to the plugins that you install, you may have products, okay? This is another custom post type, okay? WooCommerce have a custom post type called product. And as you can check, if you're using a visual model theme, you have projects, theme, portfolio. These are all custom post types that we are used to in order to better organize your content, okay? All the products of your shop go to the products custom post types. All the portfolio readings of the all works that you made go to the project's post type. All the members of your business or the members of your team go to the team post types. And all the posts of your blog go to the posts, okay? So, let's imagine that you would like to start doing books reviews, start to talking about books or start to doing reviews about anything. You may need to create a new post custom post type to make reviews or to talk about books. So how to create this? Let's go back to the borderless, okay? And right here, next to the settings, we have the post type option. Click on it. We already have made a custom post type just to test. So we're gonna click on add new. Let me close this part of the Yoast SEO. First of all, we need to apply a title. This title is going to be Books. That is our custom post type name. After this, we have the singular name. Okay, so book, the plural name, books. The slug that going to be part of the URL of the post. For example, if you Apply if you write about a Harry Potter book, gonna be yourdomain.com slash book slash Harry Potter. So this this look is very important. In the case, gonna be book. The categories we want to be we want to have taxonomies. Okay, for example, adventure books, self improvement books. Okay, so we want to have categories. We want to have tags as well. Okay, so keep yes. Label, we have the menu name, gonna be books. The admin bar name, gonna be books as well. The archives, okay, eating archives. So you can type book, eating archives. Attributes, you can type book, eating attributes. The parent eating, all eatings. 
add new item, add new item, add new book, add new, new item. We can edit all of the labels right here, all of the parts of the custom post types. Every single one can be customized and you can type the text that you want. After this, we have title, editor, accept, author, featured image. We would like to allow comments to this custom post type. So yes, choose yes or no. Same for the revisions, for the custom fields, the attributes. Every single part of the custom post type can be fully customized, okay? Now, custom archive slug. Presentation, gonna be public. Gonna have a uh, showing you the admin bar. Showing you the navigation menu, show UI. Showing you the admin sidebar, and after this, we can change the icon, okay? This use normal default awesome icons, okay? Keep this by default, no need to change it in the case that it would not, okay? And permanent links will write default. We have extra options for compatibilities, okay? So, REST API, and after all of these fields completed, Click on publish and we just have our new custom post type right here, the books. There's nothing right here, we need to create a new post. Let's create a new post. And this may be our new book, okay? So we're gonna apply some general name, visual model book. We can apply some content right here and update. As you can check, here is our slug. A good point and an important point, independently of the way that you use to create a custom post type on WordPress, as soon as you click in this custom post type, you're gonna be moving to a page not found. And this is just, this is not an error, this is just because you did not update it, your permalinks structure. So your site does not know about this new slug right here. So you must go to your WordPress dashboard, settings, permalinks, do not change absolutely anything right here, just click on save change, okay? No change, don't do any change, okay? Click on save change and as soon as you update this, you're gonna be into the new custom post type, okay? And how to edit this custom post type? As you can see, there is no editor option right here. First of all, we can enable our Elementor to work on it. Let's go to Elementor, Settings, Post Types, enable this to Books. And after this, there is now in Elementor button to edit this custom post type. The same can be done with WP Bakery in the case that you like, okay? But on WP Bakery, you must go to the Rule Manager, as far as I can remember. Custom, into the post types, and right here we're gonna set this to work on books. Let me save change, let me check the results. And here we have the WP Bakery editing buttons as well. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the post the post grid option video that we do have on our YouTube channel, so you can learn how to display these books custom post types into your page, okay, into the, any part of your site that you like. And don't forget to check out the Borderless plugin. In order to install, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and search for Borderless. You're gonna gain, besides custom post types, you're gonna gain widgets, elements, templates, tools, and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, all for free. Moreover, in the case that you are in needs of an amazing free WordPress team, with premium features like advanced search, menu, mobile optimization, SEO optimization, and a really, really well-coded team, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, add new, 
Teams, add new, search for Enzo WordPress team, click on install and activate. No need to worry, it's absolutely for free and have amazing templates and pre-built websites as well. And as a final note, in the case that you want to you have your website or landing page up faster with unlimited options, with thousands of pages that you can import with a single click, sections or full support, go to visualmodel.com and purchase the Visual Model Pass product and go premium so you can choose for sites for every business niche, it count on support, premium icons, more images, and as for design options. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.